This skill builder is called Charleston Force. The purpose of the exercise is to force yourself to play categories that you might normally avoid. Another benefit to doing this exercise is if you ever play in a special event, maybe a tournament or some kind of party, I'll bet you anything they have prizes. Usually it's a prize for the first hand in any category on the card. This exercise may help you win a prize. I have a strip here for every category on the card. We're going to pick three and force hands in those categories. The goal is to have four discards if possible for those forced hands. Now sometimes when you're forcing hands you're going to have greater numbers of discards because you're really trying to just make it happen. So maybe five or six discards when you're forcing hands is not too bad but my goal is always four discards after the charleston let's see what happens quint consecutive run like numbers We're going to force hands in these categories. You need to decide if you want to be the dealer or non-dealer. If you're going to be the dealer, give yourself 14 tiles. If you want to be non-dealer, 13 tiles. We'll say we're the dealer and get 14. This mimics our drawn hand. Now we're going to create the Charleston. Right across left left across right. Now there could be jokers in here. If you get jokers, just exchange them with these other random tiles. Let's see what we have to work with for the first force. Okay, look what we have here, a Kong. If I ever start out with a Kong and a joker, I play a Quint. Let's try a Quint here. There are four quints. One is consecutive, one is like numbers, and two are with winds. The winds we would need go with odds, north and south. We have a west. So I don't think the one with winds is good. We only have one nine. And you need to have the opposite dragon. We have the matching dragon. I think the consecutive quint is the one we need to try. Let's pick an option. Consecutive run. Consecutive run in mixed suits with nines. Six, seven, eight, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Five, six, seven, eight in cracks, nine dot. That would leverage the nine dot under the consecutive run category and look at all these tiles we can pass okay let's see what happens let's find a good pass let's pass the west a one and a six let's pass these three just put them in front of you because we need to do the optional cross from all the tiles that we're going to be passing out. So we're going to take this first right. We got a West 3-5. Those aren't going to be helpful. Let's pass. Let's pass one of each suit. We got a flower. I don't like to pass flowers, very risky. Now we do have seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight, crack, nine dot. That would be the consecutive run hand. 
second from the bottom. Five, six, seven, eight, crack, nine, dot. Let's pass those three. We're in between a quint and consecutive run. Wait a minute. Oh no, we need dots. I was thinking the consecutive run quint, but we need dots, not bams. We got the eight crack. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, now we're going to have to pass a white dragon because I'm not going to pass a flower. So we went right across left, left. Now we're going right across left, left. So we're going to bring in our left, second left. We got the eight crack. Nice. Five, six, seven. Here's a five. Five, six, seven, eight, nine flowers and a nine bam. We're in an obligatory pass. We need to pass across. I am not going to pass that. We need pairs here. We're going to sacrifice. Oh, oh, this is rough. Let's see if we can change our minds. Seven, eight, nine, eight, nine dragon. I'm thinking a mixed suit option under consecutive run so that we don't have to pass the flowers. Five, six. Or we could play like numbers with nines. Like numbers with nines. Oh, I really like this. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Pass the nine. Eight, nine, eight, nine, dragon. Let's, let's pass those three. That's even just as risky, really. Let's pass these and focus on eight, nine. Maybe we'll get the, we need a, we need a green dragon. There's a green dragon. And we have tiles we can pass. I'm thinking we could play the fourth hand down on the right. Flowers. And then two consecutive numbers in different suits with the dragon for the missing suit. So we have cracks, dots, bams. And this matches the bam suit, so it represents that suit. Pair, Kong, Kong, pair. Let's pass these three. Oh, we ended up getting that six. Let's pass one blind. Maybe we'll get the seven back. We could maybe recover that hand second from the bottom under consecutive run. Either way, we're playing consecutive run. We want two tiles. Oh, we got the five. Okay, we have one discard. I think we're probably set though for fourth hand down, four flowers. Then we have Kong of eight, Kong of nine, pair of green. We could Kong here, Kong here. All we need is a flower to get set. We have two discards and a pair. That is not bad. My goal is four discards. So we made consecutive run work with random tiles. That's force one. Let's move on to force two. You just get all your tiles, mix them up and do it again. our dealt hand right across left left across right now we're going to force either quince or like numbers we have all the sevens we do have two jokers here there is a like number quint let's focus on like numbers with sevens sevens. Now those like number hands use a flower. Let's keep the flower. 
I like to keep options. So we could play maybe something consecutive. Let's keep the five, nine, and the six. We can discard these. Now it's a little risky because they're all consecutive. You wanna build your hand and still pass defensively. Let's pass one of each suit. That's still risky, but at least it's one of each suit. There's a seven. Now we did get a north. A north. There is north and south with red and flowers. But here we have a multiple we can leverage. Or maybe we could play something consecutive. Five, six, seven, eight. We really probably don't need that nine, either the nine or the five. Let's see. We could pass these three, though, and not make a choice. Let's pass these right here. I don't think we really need this north. Unless we play like numbers with news. Keep it. <gasps> South. Like numbers with news. Seven, 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 news, flowers. We have tiles to pass. We don't have to pick a hand yet. No keepers. And we can pass these. It's a little risky with a one and a three. If you get a joker, just exchange it because you cannot pass a joker in the Charleston. We got tiles to pass. We got a north, but we don't need a multiple. We need singles. Like numbers in a quint does have one with a dragon, but this is not the right dragon because we have bams and this corresponds with the bam. We would need probably a white dragon or a red dragon. Let's pass these three. We got a seven. Okay. One, three, five, nine. <clears throat> All these odds. But look at this. We could maybe play news with sevens. We don't need all the sevens. We could break this up a little bit and play news with these sevens. We need another flower, of course, and an east and a west. So let's see. Let's go ahead and keep the seven and pass these three for optional cross. sixes. We have five discards, but we have no gaps. Now we do need an east and a west, but we do have half the block for news. And we could Kong here with the help of these jokers. Kong, Kong, we need an east and a west and a flower. I'd say that was pretty successful, but I would probably hold the seven dot and discard these first. I think I would push like numbers. Now we need to make quince work. Right, across, left, left, across, right. We have jokers. That's going to help us get to that quint. Five, seven, eight, nine, pair. Four, nine, seven, nine, west. Now, there is a like number quint and a consecutive run quint. The west is not going to help us because east and west goes with dragons, we'd have to give up a nine bam, a pair. Let's leverage this. 
plus we have the other nines. We could play a like number quint. Let's break this up and pass these three. Either the like number quint or the consecutive run quint. No keepers. Let's pass the west with the seven. Because west go with evens if you look under the wind and dragon category. If you pass the west with a seven, it's a bit safe. We got an eight. That consecutive run quint, five number, four numbers, any four consecutive numbers. We need a six, seven, eight, nine. So this five, we really don't need. Let's just keep it though and pass these three. There's a flower. The quints with flowers use winds. So we really don't need the flower. Let's pass these three. If you get jokers, exchange them. Seven. Now, here's a dragon. Like numbers with dragons, but here we have two multiples. I think we need to make that consecutive run quint work. Let's pass these three. Six bam. We filled a gap. Let's pass these three. No keepers. These could be our optional cross. So you put those out there. We want three. Mix these up. These were all part of the Charleston. Many times during the Charleston, you see tiles come back. We have discards. Four discards, no gaps. We need a pair of sixes, a pung of sevens, a kong of eights. We can use that joker. And these can help us get to that quint. Five of a kind. So we need pair, pung, kong, quint. Only four discards. This was very successful. This could be a winner. If you have a set at home, give this exercise a try. It will build your confidence navigating the card because you're forcing yourself to play pre-selected categories. Also, if you ever get invited to an event where they have prizes, you can practice forcing hands to win a prize. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Be sure to click the little gray bell when you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next skill builder, may all your picks be keepers.